in actual practice it is hardly observable visually unlike hogging and sagging vessel is steaming into sea with the waves about 4 points on the port bow of the vessel in moderate wave or swells conditions as the swell trains and waves pass under the hull owing to the oblique angle of attack the crest and trough of the wave pass under the bow and stern separately but at the same time as the crest passes under the bow from the port to starboard the trough of the same wave is passing under the stern the crest tends to induce clockwise twisting forces into the bow area while the bow is being subject to clockwise forces the trough is causing anti clockwise forces to affect the stern This effect alternately tends to twist the vessel in opposite directions like wringing a claw to remove the water from it. The difference is only that the wringing happens alternately in opposite directions. Nowadays, long baseline and short baseline strain gauges working with fiber optic, electro resistive, acoustic, laser and radar technologies provide real time information on the stresses and strains the ship's hull is being subject to. Since container ships are routinely subject to static torsion due to uneven distribution of weights, their design incorporates torsion resisting structures. The under deck passageways double as stress resisting torsion boxes.